Tonight, the death toll rises at Newmarch House. A 15th resident dies at the Sydney Aged Care Home. Good evening, I'm Juanita Phillips. This is ABC News. The return to school gathers pace. The Premier opens the door to all students attending five days a week by the end of May. Out of isolation, NRL teams reunite as they eye a return to training. And John Barillaro stays put. The Deputy Premier decides not to run in Eden Monero. A 15th resident has died after testing positive to coronavirus at the Newmarch Aged Care Home in Western Sydney. Anglicare said it was saddened by the death. The elderly man had no immediate family. Earlier it was announced that a seven-year-old boy had been diagnosed after attending a Sydney primary school. The Premier is warning parents to brace for more infections as schools return. Run down and killed following a heated argument. Tonight a man murdered, his ex-girlfriend charged, the confronting scene witnesses left in shock. The wild, wild brawl through Auburn, teenagers stabbed, local business owners left fuming. Locking down the suburbs, the radical plan to stop Melbourne's COVID spread. People here urged to stay away. Calls for a permanent rise to welfare payments shot down by the Minister. Jump or be pushed, Labor's ultimatum to an under fire MP, his own party wants him out of Parliament. The King of the Jungle back at Taronga, the enclosure hoping to bring families back to the zoo. And shark attack, Cronulla piles on the points against a depleted Manly in Gosford. Live from Sydney, 7 News with Mark Ferguson. Good evening. Police say a woman killed her ex-lover in a jealous rage after she discovered him at home with another woman. Neighbours were left shocked. The whole incident playing out in a car park. The alleged murder weapon, a four-wheel drive. Tonight, it's finally happened. Sydney's hotel quarantine has been breached. A security guard catches COVID at Circular Quay, then goes to work at Parramatta, Bankstown and the Flemington Markets. How did this happen? We have breaking news on community sport in Sydney. Our competition's about to be cancelled. Ambervale residents surrounded by the riot squad as a siege situation unfolds on their street. We're with police as they storm a fishing boat and find one heck of a haul, the dead giveaway that undid the whole criminal plot. It's bite night at the NRL judiciary as Kevin Proctor fights to save his season. And there's no stopping our Gene Steele, not even COVID-19. Australia's oldest survivor showered with love at Newmarch House. This is Nine News with Peter Overton. Good evening. Sydney is dealing with its own hotel quarantine breach tonight. A security guard contracting COVID-19 at the Marriott Hotel in the city with the strain of the virus linked back to a return traveller. The guard then went on to work at several busy locations across our west while infectious. Tonight, just hours to go. Delays and frustration on the border as Queensland prepares to lock New South Wales out. New rules in place to protect our state. Anyone coming from Victoria now sent straight into hotel quarantine at their own expense. The JobKeeper Lifeline extended how the rules have been relaxed to make it easier to get support. The AFL under scrutiny with questions over locker room behaviour captured on camera during Richmond's post-match celebrations. A win for the West, the community hub dubbed the Starship Enterprise lands in Parramatta. And the traffic jam all of Sydney can forgive. Meet Lexi, the little one who caused chaos as she was born on the side of the M4. This is 10 News First Sydney with Sandra Sully. Good evening. There is a scramble underway on the Queensland border with drivers queuing to cross before New South Wales is locked out completely. New rules have also come into effect for travellers coming into our state. Mandatory hotel quarantine for anyone from Victoria is now in place. Tonight, the man charged over a fatal crash in Canberra South last night claims he wasn't behind the wheel. Reasons unknown, this vehicle has lost control and tragically someone is uh, now deceased.
Nine people hospitalised after a suspected mass drug overdose at a house in Perth. Empowering Women, the initiative that aims to support domestic violence survivors by teaching them self-defence. And Canberra's BMX champion Caroline Buchanan seriously hurt in a car crash. Good evening, Craig Allen with ABC News. Just a few days into the new year and ACT police are investigating the Territory's first fatal road accident. A man in his early 20s was killed last night when a car rolled on Yarra Glen in the city's south. He's been named as Joseph Stefaniak, the son of former ACT opposition leader Bill Stefaniak. Today, the man accused of dangerous driving over the crash told a court he wasn't behind the wheel when the accident happened. Good evening. A man has appeared in court accused of deliberately slamming a stolen car into a commuter bus in Canberra. Good evening. I'm Emma LaRouche with your Nine Local News update. ACT Public Schools will move to remote learning in Term 2. Across Canberra and its surrounding regions, this is Wing News. Tonight, criticism over why three innocent Canberrans were charged with murder. Several near misses with Canberra's light rail prompt a safety warning. And the ACT government urged to hold off on closing a hydrotherapy pool. Good evening, I'm Jeff Phillips. Also coming up tonight, the drought takes a toll on the fruit and veggie displays. This is Prime 7 Local News with Madeleine Collignon and Carl Linders. And Ellie Wicks with your local weather forecast. Tonight the border closure comes under intense scrutiny as it takes a toll on everyone from residents to police. The sports season faces an uncertain future with organisers tackling new COVID restrictions. I'm Daniel Gibson. Later on this news hour, vaccine secured for all Australians. So why are some saying the PM has jumped the gun? And it's a miracle. The Premier's surprising take on our hotel quarantine breach. Now, Prime 7 Local News. Good evening. The Queensland border closure has split communities in two, with many towns left out of the border bubble. But now there's finally been a small breakthrough. Let's cross live to our reporter Phoebe Dees in Lismore. Good evening, Phoebe. The border bubble has been expanded. This is Prime 7 Local News with Madeleine Collignon and Carl Linders and Ellie Wicks with your local weather forecast. Tonight, community sport in limbo after a change to the public health order that could stop play. Fire authorities prepare to tackle another bushfire season with spring less than a fortnight away. I'm Daniel Gibson. Later on this news hour, vaccine secured for all Australians. So why are some saying the PM has jumped the gun? And it's a miracle. Premier's surprising take on our hotel quarantine breach. Now, Prime 7 Local News. Good evening. The state government has left sporting organisations in the dark with still no clarification it's on its latest health recommendations. Organisations were told to stop all inter-regional competition from today onwards, but what exactly is classed as inter-regional competition is still unknown. Writing on the answer is every tournament in the state. Tonight holiday tragedy. Two Frenchmen killed in a horror crash on the north coast. Police hunting the person responsible for a stabbing attack on the central coast. Thousands march across the country demanding action on climate change. Two more cruise ship evacuees test positive for coronavirus. And our cricketers shrug off sandpaper gate, thumping South Africa in Johannesburg. This is NBN News with Jane Goldsmith. Good evening. Two French nationals visiting Australia have died in horrific circumstances on the north coast. The pair were travelling along the Summerland Way north of Grafton when their hire car and a B-double collided in wet conditions. This is Prime 7 Local News with Madeleine Collignon and Carl Linders and Ellie Wicks with your local weather forecast. 
Tonight, a flight from Melbourne to Orange is planned to go ahead tomorrow despite a travel ban. We capture the moment a koala is set free after a long battle back to good health. I'm Daniel Gibson. Later on, this news hour fears an explosion at one of our chemical stockpiles could be even bigger than Bay Roots. And thousands told to watch for symptoms as a footballer contracts the virus. Now, Prime 7 Local News. Good evening. A flight from Melbourne to Orange is planned to go ahead tomorrow, despite the New South Wales government banning air travel from Victoria into regional New South Wales. From midnight tonight, returning New South Wales residents can only return to the state through Sydney Airport. But Fly Corporate, which operates the local link, has other ideas. This is Prime 7 Local News with Madeleine Collignon and Carl Linders. And Ellie Wicks with your local weather forecast. Tonight, plastic, nappies and syringes. Lazy locals make a mockery of Wagga's recycling reputation. Peace talks in the battle over huge transformers planned for pristine farmland in the snowy valleys. I'm Daniel Gibson. Later on this news hour, anti-vaxxers on notice as the government considers strict rules to enforce the jab. And when Qantas says overseas travel, he'll be back on the cards. Now. Prime 7 Local News. Good evening, lazy Wagga residents are dumping everything from nappies to syringes in their green-topped organic waste bins. It's not only selfish, it's putting those forced to separate the filth from genuine organic waste at risk. 